Oi. Hello. It's been a pretty hot minute since I made a battle song video, guys. How have you been? Oh, me? How am I doing? I'm doing pretty damn good now that you're here. Ah. First battle song video in quite a while. And this one, guys, is a very special one because it's one that I've been waiting to make for way too long. <laughs> Story time. Let's go all the way back to three months or a quarter of a year ago. I made a video where I unboxed a couple of BB Barfly battle songs. I had the video set up to where it'd be like a mystery unboxing and I had you guys guess what the battle songs would be in the comments. And the only hint that I gave you guys was that these battle songs weren't from America. And uh, a lot of you guys actually guessed that it was Atropos Knife, which is a very good guess. It would be one of my first guesses. Unfortunately, you were wrong, but, uh, but right around the time I made that video, I actually reached out to Constantine over at Atropos Knife to see if he could cook me up a little something. And we spent a few weeks talking about what we could and couldn't do, how we would set this up. And then after a couple weeks, I figured out exactly what I wanted. We got that set in stone, and then he took about two or three weeks to make it. So it's right around early July when he finishes the knife, and then he boxes it and packages it and gets it ready to ship out to me. Now to put this in a metaphor, up until this point, everything was running as smoothly and precisely and as perfectly as an old grandfather clock. And then someone threw a boulder at the grandfather clock. See, the funny thing about the good old US of A is it's filled with a bunch of idiots. And uh, no one really knew how to handle a pandemic, even though we had like three months to prepare for it. So, you know, other countries, they didn't really want to touch us. It's almost like the USA is that one person in the orgy that shows up to it with gonorrhea. So, uh, other countries, they didn't really want to touch us or mess with us or interact with us. Russia being one of them, so there was a hold on all the imports and exports to and from America to Russia. So I had to wait a while. And it was on hold till July 17th was, I think, what they said. But I ended up waiting way longer than that. And eventually, I ended up waiting so long that I actually forgot that I had a battle song coming when it actually came to me. So it was a very pleasant surprise. Fortunately, a couple weeks ago, I finally got my hands on it. And we are going to cut to a few weeks ago when I got that knife here in just a second. I just wanted to tell you guys about that little story time before we really get into this video. So before we flash back to a couple weeks ago when I got this knife, I just want to let you guys know that I am so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you go on to enjoy this video and enjoy the content that I put out, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys go on to enjoy this video. If you do, let me know by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, share this video around, subscribe for more if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at DendaNBMX. I'm done being a tool. Let's get right into this video. Title, three weeks earlier. Look at all that Russianness. It's been way too long. This has been stuck in customs or it's just been stuck in Russia for a while because exporting and shipping during the pandemic has been so weird. But I finally got this. I've been waiting since July to unbox this. Let's see what it is. This tripod sucks so much. Okay, I think it's gonna stay still. This comes from Nizhny Novgorod, Russia. Let's see what's in it. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. From the CCCP. Take that off. I don't want any of you seeing my address. That's where it's from. You guys should know who At Atropos is. This is a custom order that I had done. Oh, it's like taking off a phone screen. I am so excited. Holy shit. All right, let's put the let's put the abomination away. I really like how you can see his Benchmade inspiration in all of his stuff, especially the logo or Pacific Cutlery. I don't, I don't know. Oh boy. Who's this? Is this a sticker? Ha! <laughs> Suck it, Will Hirsch. He sent me a sticker. You got a fridge magnet. I got... A little bit of spare tools, hell yeah. And we got some shit. <laughs> oh cool, they even sent it in a little leather case. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hide that so you can see the leather case. That's actually really nice. And they put, put a little blue stitching in it too. Damn, Constantine. Do they call you Kostya as your nickname? That is cool, all right. I wasn't expecting this leather case. That's a really nice little addition. Got a little pocket clip, that's really cool. But anyway, you guys ready to see the actual battle song? Ready, three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh dude. Oh dude. Okay, so I custom ordered an Atropos Callie's Mercy trainer. Now I'll get into why I got a trainer in a little while, but I asked him, like I had like a really specific list, like I wanted it to be Zen pins, channel tie handles, Callie's Mercy trainer blade. Holy shit. Wow. Alright, let's look at the tolerances right out of the box. Like immediately out of the box. It's wiggling in my hands a little bit, but it literally looks like there's no play. And then tap, there's no tap, like at all. I don't really care about this stuff, and I know a lot of people get really butt hurt when I bring it up, but I know that there's a lot of people that also really do care about it. Oh my god, it's almost silent. 
like, oh god. I wasn't expecting the handles to be this round. Oh yeah, also, and then I, I asked him to anodize it blue. It's like a really dark blue, but it like pops in like certain, that's real, that's so cool. Holy shit. I am in love with this thing already. I like, can't wait. We're gonna need to go test this thing and flip it. We'll get some nice B-roll of it and then we'll flip it for a little bit. Official sound test for the Atropos Cali's Mercy Trainer. It is surprisingly quiet for a channel titanium battle song. It's very quiet. It's quiet, but it sounds really nice. It sounds very dialed, like extremely dialed. But it's also like super quiet. I like it. This might be the quietest one I have. Okay, so how's this thing flip? It is unique, but it's really good. Like I really like it so far. The handles are like extremely round, but like they have this little flat spot up on the top of the handles on both sides, but they're like almost like cylinders. It's really nice. Since the handles on this thing are rounder, I kind of expected me to maybe struggle with a lot of things on it at first, but so far a lot of stuff is really easy. But one thing I noticed that I am messing up on quite a bit right now is actually just like little rollovers. This little prepping rollover that I do for this aerial. I noticed that I'm kind of struggling with that. Of all things, other than that, everything else feels really nice see see that that's exactly what i'm talking about i'm noticing that's flying out of my hand a lot holy crap choker fans feel great that roundness really does help that aerials feel nice they're pretty easy to time now right away this thing is Pretty heavy. It's a big knife. Honestly, this is probably the longest balisong I have, I, I have. It's very long. It's like longer than you think it'll be. I can feel the weight of this one a lot more. It like feels like I'm flipping slower and my carpal tunnel is kind of getting started a lot faster than it usually does. But that also might be, have something to do with the fact that honestly, I haven't been flipping as much lately. Okay. Scissors feel good. Let me see if I can do a double scissor. Oh, almost. Okay, now I'm fucking up. Hell yeah. Surprisingly, it feels really good for scissors. Since the handles are rounder, I thought like when I'd go and catch it, it would like just twist in my hand right away because a lot of battle songs do that for me. Surprisingly, this one is not doing that. Holy crap. Dang it, I'm gonna get that. Yeah, there we go. Still kind of sloppy, but I don't care. Oof. You ready? I really like this thing. It feels really nice. One thing, when I'm twirling, this these lines are kind of digging into me. Like, it's weird. They're rounded off and smooth, but they're also, like, kind of sharp right here. Like, it's still, twirling feels really good, but I could just feel it kind of, like, digging into my hands a little bit. thing feels so nice. Overall, it flips really nice, and I really like the way it feels. I love Kukri style blades so much. Ladders feel real good on this. It carries weight very well. It's pretty, I mean, that's kind of more neutral-ish. Pretty neutral, but the weight is kind of more on the ends because it's got these big chunks of titanium here, and then the blade gets thicker up in the end, so it's got like this end of the blade and handle bias, but I really like it. It feels really nice. The Zen pin's not getting in the way at all. He, it's, it's really cool. It's like a little point, but he rounded it off super nice. This is probably going to become my favorite bell, so I'm not going to lie. Like, it's unique. It's different, but 
I really like it. I think that's a good, pretty good flipping demo. Let me get one more clip and I think that'll wrap up the flipping demo. Ooh, that felt good. All right. So yeah, filmed all that like three weeks ago. Now, why did I wait this long to actually upload this video? Well, I really wanted to make sure that my feelings for this knife were true and that there wasn't going to be something that came up that made me totally change my opinion. And this is all a complete lie. Really, I'm just painfully lazy. It's, it's actually a combination of both. I have been flipping this thing religiously almost since I have received it. Now, the flipping footage that I showed you guys, that was within like the first hour of me receiving that knife. So of course you gotta kinda work out the kinks and figure out what does and does work on it and how you gotta compensate and fix that. And I'm glad to say that between the time I filmed that footage and now I worked out most of those kinks, I've pretty much worked out and figured out how to do everything I know how to do on this knife and I can do it easily now. Um, there's not really anything I struggle with anymore on it. Everything on it seems to work pretty perfectly now. It just took me a little bit of time to adapt. Even when I was messing up on some stuff, it was quickly becoming my favorite and now this is most definitely my favorite battle song. It's not just because of the way it flips, but just because I've been trying to get my hands on a channel titanium battle song for so long. I mean, I have my chat, but I finally got like a really nice one. This thing is quite a bit bigger than most other battle songs. And first it was a little weird, but now I really enjoy it. The weight balance on this thing is amazing. It carries weight really good. It's got good momentum. I've adjusted to how much this thing weighs because it's a little bit heavier than most. I can flip it pretty fast now. I really have come to enjoy the roundness of these handles. I mean, I still like blocky handles, but this is just something else that I really enjoy now. Zen Pin Tang is so perfect. He, he, he... <coughs> is there another one? Now, at first, as I mentioned earlier, the channel cutout was kind of digging into my finger a little bit, and it still kind of does do it, but my fingers have since toughened up to it and now it really doesn't bother me at all. I would prefer that this be a little bit more rounded and smooth. There's still kind of like a sharp point right where it flattens out. That's really the only downside I have to this thing and I've adapted to it. I figured out the little rollover thing. I can do rollovers perfectly fine now. Everything else on this thing feels fantastic. Another thing that makes it my favorite is just that it's anodized blue. If you guys have watched my channel for any amount of time, you probably would figure out by yourself that blue is my favorite color. I mentioned it before, Kukri style blades are my favorite style of blade. Since this was a custom order, I was able to set this thing up exactly how I wanted it. It's literally everything I could ask for. Solid channel titanium handles, Zen pins, Kukri style blade, just everything about this thing. The length, the color, the way it flips, the way it looks. It's just, it's easily my favorite battle song that I own and I'm definitely not letting this thing go. Now the big burning question that I'm sure a lot of you guys have is why did I get a trainer? What am I, what am I, some kind of pussy or something? And to answer that question, really, it just comes down to, I wanted a trainer. <laughs> Why? Because I flipped live blades for like the first eight years that I flipped. It wasn't until last year that I got a, my first trainer. I didn't get it because I was scared of live blades. I'm still not scared of live blades. What I found was that I ended up having a lot more fun with a trainer because there wasn't that inherent risk of getting cut with a live blade. Now, I know that there's a lot of people in the Balasong community, specifically the older school crowd, that kind of gets off on the fact that they're flipping a live blade and they think it makes them cooler and tougher and more manly, more of a badass. Um, I don't really care about that. I don't feel any cooler flipping a live blade compared to flipping a trainer blade. You see, I don't really flip for like an ego boost or to like show off or anything. I just do it because honestly, it's just kind of like a fun little fidgety thing I can do. I'm not looking to do this to like compete or to show off or I don't know, make myself feel cooler. I just do it because it's fun. I have no problem flipping live blades, but I just have more fun with a trainer blade just because I can care even less. I guess. <laughs> Cause like when I'm flipping this, I don't really have to pay attention to what I'm doing at all. But with a live blade you do, because if you don't, you're gonna get cut. And that that is its own little thing of fun. I just don't flip live blades because I think it makes me cooler. It doesn't make anybody cooler. <laughs> I never really understood the people that kind of go and try and bully other people because they choose to flip trainers over flipping live blades. I can only imagine that comes out of a place of severe insecurity. I mean, I know that there's lots of people in the Battlestone community that are like that. They just, they didn't do it, get into it because it's fun. They got into it because they think it makes them cooler or more badass or some, some corny shit like that. And if they think it makes them cooler, 
all the power to them. Does it actually? I don't really think so. I mean, if you only want to flip live blades, that's for, that's perfectly fine. I mean, that's all I did for like eight years, but thinking you're better or cooler or above someone that flips a trainer blade just because you flip a live blade is probably the farthest thing from the truth. If anything, you're just a pretentious elitist tool. I really wouldn't try using that as your ego boost. I guess it could make you feel better about yourself, but really to everyone else, you kind of just look like an insecure bitch. So so that's really my thoughts on, on live blades versus trainers. I know I'm the one who has all the controversy thoughts. I don't ostracize clones and I'm not going to bully someone for using a trainer blade because because I don't base my entire manlyhood on whether or not I'm going to cut myself if I mess up or not. Sorry for the little rant right there. I can't I can't control myself in these battle song videos. Just so many people in this community piss me off and I can't handle it. Um, anyway, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Final conclusion. This is the most amazing battle song that I've ever received so far because it was a custom order and I pretty much asked for exactly what I wanted. I definitely will order from Atropos in the future. He's got so many crazy Balasong designs and blades and styles and he really probably is my favorite Balasong knife maker at the moment. Just because I got a trainer version doesn't mean I don't want one of his live blade ones and I definitely will be getting a live blade one in the future. Big huge thank you to Constantine over at Atropos Knife for wanting to work with me and making this thing happen. It is definitely my favorite battle song that I've ever had. And I hope you guys look into getting your own Atropos knife because I promise you, you won't regret it. They look badass, they feel badass, they flip badass. It's definitely, and the price, I can't forget about the price of Atropos knife. He makes knives that would easily be sold by other people for like 500 to a thousand dollars. And he sells them for like 200 bucks. His prices are ridiculous compared to everyone else and his stuff is usually always in stock and if it's not he'll just make it right away i highly highly recommend atropos if you haven't already looked into them i can't recommend atropos enough and i can't thank constantine enough for helping make this video possible this definitely is not going to be the last product i buy and i hope you guys go ahead and look into atropos as well because i don't think you're going to regret it might have to wait a little bit to get it just because customs and importing and exporting stuff is weird but if you do i guarantee you, you won't be disappointed that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and review of my Atropos Knife custom made Cali's Mercy Trainer. 10 out of 10. Easy. Favorite battle song. If there was one downside, it's just that this is a little sharp. But other than that, it has easily become my favorite battle song to date. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Leave a comment. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Share the video around. Subscribe for more if you haven't already and you enjoy the content that I put out. Follow me on Instagram at DendenBMX. I'm done being a tool. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.